Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I'm back just for a little uh, quick video, a little follow-up of what I did earlier today. I was going to show you how my new things fit into um, my Lockby notebook. And I tried to do that in the car, but it was difficult. I was, you know, holding my phone and trying to film or film, whatever. It, it just didn't work out. So I'm back at home and I just wanted to show you the few things I got from JetPens and how I think this is actually going to work out slightly different than what I showed you earlier. Um, so let's start with the JetPens order. I went ahead and unboxed it while I was waiting for my son to finish his art class. Um, it was really wrapped superbly, very tightly in the bubble wrap with packaging tape, so it's a good thing I did it off camera. But I bought this. This is a Tomoe River um, loose leaf paper, obviously in cream, and I bought this for letter writing. So when I write to pen pals and just the various people that I'm trying to keep up with and encourage through a little note or letter, um, have a couple older friends in my life that I like to send things to. So I, I like to use the Tomoe River paper so I can use my fountain pens and they look really nice. But this, let's see, this was this, um, 52 GSM loose leaf paper. This is the A5 size blank cream 100 sheets. So I'm excited to use that. This is kind of cute, that little purple uh, header paper, I guess you could call it, I don't know. And then um, I bought another sealing wax stick. I've talked about these a few times before. Um, I thought this was really a neat color. Uh, let's see if they antique gold. I was going to say vintage gold, but it's antique gold. And I think that's going to be really pretty. Um, it's not going to be a bright, bright, shiny gold. It's going to have that little bit of um, kind of a dirtied gold look that I think is really nice and uh, just kind of vintagey looking. I don't know. I, I like that a lot. <clears throat> I also ordered, so in case you're wondering, I think this was, it was either $2 or $4. Um, as you can see, it's textured here, smooth on the back. Um, anyway, I'm excited to try that. Then I ordered um, a small wax seal, and they weren't kidding when they said small. It's really tiny. It's not anything that I feel like I could seal an envelope with. I mean, really, I mean, you could for decoration. And of course, that's it's all for decoration. But it just seems rather tiny. I. I honestly don't feel like this is a great deal. This was $8. I knew it was small, but I didn't measure it. They did say small. This will be cute, though, on a journal page, like a junk journal page, or uh, I have a journal where I just, um, maybe not every day, but fairly frequently record what's going on in our life. So this will be a fun little accent for that. If you can't quite tell here, this is a... Um, crescent moon with a face and I've, I've always liked that kind of little image this is just so dinky it's really cute but I really would rather have had a larger one but that you know that's my fault I didn't read the dimensions carefully so I can only blame myself and then this the thing I vowed I would never buy an ink syringe but while I was on um, JetPen's website, I thought, hey, I'll just go ahead and add this to my order. The reason I got this is because recently I bought a um, Pilot Petite pen, <clears throat> and it came with a cartridge. And they said you could um, syringe refill the cartridge, or you can use it as, I think, a as an eyedropper pen so I thought I would give the syringe ink world a try excuse me <clears throat> this time of year the 
stuff floating around kind of irritates my throat a little bit. So those are some fun little things. This is funny though, because I just thought, why would you want to mess that much with your ink and put things in a syringe to fill your pen? There was a time when all of that seemed very um, unappealing to me. But now I'm really enjoying the fountain pen hobby. I am not extremely knowledgeable by any stretch of the imagination, but I am learning things. And I want to thank you all who have commented and uh, given suggestions and enlightened me and answered questions when I, when I had them. I appreciate that a lot. And so it's a hobby that is ever unfolding and I'm learning more and more and having fun experimenting with inks. The other thing I got is enclosed now in my Lockbee Field Journal. Earlier today I showed these books in this journal and it was my every intention to keep these all in here just writing projects of varying sorts and I talked about those so I won't go into that but in my jet pens order came this Con Konzo Noto I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but this is a really nice Tomoe River notebook it's in the A5 size says here it's a jet pen exclusive so that's pretty special this is what they call let me look at the notes i think it was dark purple um deep deep purple actually and that's a good description um when i was in fifth grade i had a what we called back then a blouse in this color and i had a friend and we would wear our matching blouses sometimes to school anyway so that that's a kind of purple that resonates with me a very deep strong solid grounded purple is kind of how i think of that looks sort of maybe like um an eggplant or a plum if the color is coming through differently plus i'm um in a somewhat dark room with my lamp on so i don't know if the color is showing forth true but it's a nice deep purple if you if you like that deep purple is a perfect name it's got this binding which i'm sure has a technical name um it's like a tape or a binding tape, maybe it's called, on there. And you can kind of see the places where it's stitched. And I noticed earlier today that it, um, here, let me move. Let me move the lock bee out of the way because that's kind of affecting how this is behaving. You can see that it opens and lays flat fairly easily. This is, by the way, in case I didn't mention or you can't tell, the dot grid, it's um, 52 GSM. And I don't remember, I was going to look up the number of pages. I don't recall and I didn't get back to the website to tell you, but as you can see, it's quite, quite full uh, of pages. Um, and I like the 52 GSM. I'm, I'm happy that it's that. I like all of the Tomoe River paper I've tried, but it seems like the 52 kind of gets a little more crinkly, and uh, I I like I like that effect. My thoughts on this will be that um, this will be sort of writing endeavors. I I mentioned it previously, but just um, maybe writing some little stories or something, some kind of creative writing. We'll see what I end up doing. I, I have big plans and finding the time in the day to do all those things is not always easy, but I thought, you know, if I just write a paragraph or two a day, I could have a little, a little story in no time. So anyway, back to this. That was my jet pens order. I had these all in there and the Lockbee journal Let's take this one out. This is not, this is a uh, Goulet Pens journal. But all of, okay, so I have, we will use this. I have the fourth one in a different room. I won't go get that right now, but this is comparable in size, slightly thinner. So these, this will give you the idea of how this looks. With all four of them in there, it's got some substance to it, but it's not bursting at the seams. It feels, um, solid. I guess I, I like something that feels 
substantial. I keep going back to that word, but I really don't know how else to describe it. It feels substantial, but it's not super heavy. There's just some um, to it, some ruggedness. Uh, it's got an outdoorsy feel. I don't know, an on-the-go feel. I really like the setup. I love these colors, and I like these in here, and I am enjoying the A5 size to repeat myself for these longer journaling projects. So going, it's going really well. But I assumed that all four of those notebooks and this large insert notebook, I guess this could be its own thing. You know, it could be really cute with a leather folio or maybe a, um, if they have those like cover on cover type covers for this, that could be nice. And I may end up getting something like that if an A5 size is available. I don't know that it is because I've never looked, but I would assume that it is. This fits super well in here. The problem is these don't all fit well when they're all in there. So you can see it just, you know, you could, you could force it and it would work. But suddenly, like this, it's losing its appeal to me. It's feeling too bulky. I kind of liked the streamline effect of, well, maybe not streamlined, but full, but not too bulky with the four. Like I said, we'll just pretend that's the other Lock B1. My other one's in the other room. Um, sorry, losing my train of thought. Anyway, this worked well. I liked I liked the variety, the different notebooks, the feel of not being too light or wispy, but not overly heavy. I don't know if anybody's described a journal as light and wispy before, but uh, just, just the heft. The heft is uh, something I like at times. Anyway, this was a good combination. So, I was kind of playing around and thinking about what would work best. I think after pondering it then on the, the best setup would be to remove some of these. The way my brain thinks is things that make sense need to go together. So, you know, that could look like a lot of different things. But it seems like this is morphing into a creative writing journal. So to have this artsy, and then I added creative and miscellaneous <laughs> underneath because I had to be very specific in my label. Um, and I was working on a little story today. Anyway, this doesn't have to be with these things. So the commonplace entries, definitions, little facts that I discover here that I think are fun, that seems like to me sort of a creative outlet. Memoirs, memories, um, things I'm trying to record for posterity are in here. These are things that I, especially this, I would write when I had some time to reflect, most likely. I felt like writing with a pen. I just needed something to write because I want to write with my fountain pens. But maybe something comes up and I'm like, oh, I remember that. That's cool. I want to, I want to record that. So these things I feel like can be in a book that's put on my craft cart that's usually by the kitchen table. That's where I do all this kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't have to be like where I can grab it super quick. These are things that I'm going to probably be more deliberate about writing. So keeping these in here, that makes sense to me. Creative writing. I put artsy on here, but it's, I, I don't know that I want to limit it to drawings and paintings, but it's available for that. So I was scratching some notes for a little story for the grandkids earlier today. Um, that, I don't know, kind of seems different than this. Like that could just be in the cart by itself. And then the transcribing is kind of the same way. This is kind of something, um, could go in here, 
it's kind of a creative writing thing, but it's kind of just something I do for the love of writing with fountain pens. As I mentioned earlier, I, I'm copying down some Bible chapters that I've memorized, but I also want to copy down quotes from some of my favorite stories. There's some really good Jane Eyre scenes that are so romantic and wow, I love it. I I want to just kind of write stuff like that in here. Just This is just purely for fun. Again, for the joy of writing and also for me reinforcing in my memory some of these things. So I thought, well, that again is something I will think I want to write now. I can get out my creative writing journal and that can fit in there with this blotting paper quite nicely. The thing is, I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it does It does close. The, the iffy thing is when I add the Kanto Noto pad. Again, this could stand alone. It's substantial enough that it could have a cover. It could be its own thing. When I feel like working on one of my um, stories, snippets, however that's going to play out, um, having it... In, uh, what am I trying to say? I can just grab this, or it can be in here with the other creative writing. Gosh, I, I'm interrupting myself and can't keep a train of thought. Too many things in the brain they are getting crowded, and I can't get any of them out. Okay, so that looks super cool. I love this, and without any of these in here, I would love this. In fact, my first vision was to have a notebook to write in, just to journal in, because I wanted to try having a journal in a cover. Um, that's what a lot of them are, because I have lots of TNs, but a larger size TN, and something that wasn't leather. I wanted to, to expand my horizons. So, transcribing commonplace memoirs, and then creative writing stories, whatever. That seems like that makes sense in my mind, whereas this can be more something I grab if I feel like painting or drawing, and I'll have a place to put it. And then I was also thinking, I don't know if I want to waste this paper on just doodling, because I have other pads that I can do that with. I have my Stalogy right here, and I've already done that kind of stuff in here. This is a little bit of everything which I do love this B6 size. <clears throat> anyway, um, I guess it just made more sense to leave that out and maybe not even use it. Now, I started to write this um, little story idea I've had, and then I thought, I'm using up too much paper and doing a lot of scratching out and so forth, so I'm just getting a spiral-bound notebook for that part of my story and then I may go back and use this to like rewrite it when it's more finalized versus using up a nicer quality paper for chicken scratch, essentially. So this guy will probably be set aside. And behind where we're talking, I have a shelf. And I'm just going to put it up on that for now and contemplate that later. I will, I'm the type of person that can lose sleep thinking about how I want this stuff to be ordered. It needs to make sense to me. Um, and sometimes I get too many notebooks going and sometimes I don't like how they're organized. Um, but it does seem functional and it does seem to make sense. And I guess the, the main thing was just to show you um, how this could be set up. It's got the four strings and it's got a pocket here and here and of course if this was much thinner there would be no problem having all the notebooks and then some in here I mean I could add this and again I just have two of the four so you could have two more of these in here and those and that would work it's just that this is is bulky but this I bought for this so I kind of want to try that for a while and see so this is a bit of a ramble this is my 
thought process could be rearranged even yet. It's already different than what I did earlier today, but that was before I unboxed this, and I'm wanting this to have a settled place. But I do like how that slides in there. It, it fits on the strings, too. I, I tried that earlier, and that was actually maybe even better. Well, if I push that down and then do that, I don't know if you can see. It, it all, that works very nicely. It's feeling a lot heavier. Yeah, I don't need to buckle that up because I'll just unbuckle it. Um, I kind of like this though. Makes sense and I guess this is what we'll, we'll try for a while. So I'm going to stop talking before I put everybody to sleep. Thanks for watching though. Comment below if you have any thoughts. Um, how do you like to organize things when you're using a notebook with several inserts that have slightly different functions? Um, I, I do like this book. I can see this being a nice companion through the years. So again, I appreciate your watching, your patience. Um, have a great weekend. And I think if I neglected to mention in my previous video, to my friends in the UK, I uh, send my condolences to the loss of Prince Philip, and uh, I just think he was a cool guy. I've admired him from afar, and his wife Elizabeth, and I think she is a super neat lady. I um, have a very high regard for people who committed so much of their life to serving their country unselfishly. It's very admirable. And... Um, wanted to say that. So anyway, take care. Have a good weekend and we'll see you soon.